We will now start with creating our navigation. We can see that we have the company name here, and then we have a link for each of the pages. Then we have a drop down in the right side that opens on hover, where we can select a different language. We want to create the menu or navigation so that it becomes stacked on smaller devices. So let's continue and create this. In our index file, we start adding a map tag and give it the classes UI stackable container menu. So the stackable class will make it stack on smaller devices and the container class will limit the width or the max width of the container so it won't take up all the available space of the screen. Then we'll add the company name using an h1 heading element with the classes UI, small, header and item. A normal header would have just the UI small header, but we need to add the item as well as this as as this is an item of our menu. Now we'll add an anchor tag leading to this same page, index.html, and give it the class active, since this is the active page, and the class item. Then we'll give it the text home. We'll copy this, paste it in again, and change the href attribute to services.html and remove the active class and change the text to services. We'll do something similar for the three other pages. So the third link here is to the about page. The fourth link is to the team page. And the fifth link is to the contact page. Now we want to add our drop down for the language selector. So we add a div tag with the classes UI write simple drop down item. Once again, we use the item since this is an item of our menu. Then we have the drop down since this is a drop down. The simple class makes the drop down open and hover so we don't have to use JavaScript. And the write class it's necessary to make this menu item uh, align to the right side. Inside of this div tag, we will first add the text for the link to open up the dropdown, which will simply be language. Then we'll add a dropdown icon. So we use the i tag with the class dropdown icon. And we remember to close the i tag again. Then we create the drop down menu using a div tag with the class menu. And for each menu item, we add an anchor tag with some kind of URL here in the href attribute. This is just an example company name.com slash language and the class item. We'll give it the text language and close our anchor tag. Let's duplicate this twice. Save all the code. Go back in the browser, select the right tab and refresh. Now we see we have our navigation here, our menu. We can see that we can hover the links here. And we can open the drop down by hovering the language text. And if we narrow the width of our browser, we can see that this menu becomes stacked. This was the navigation.